open up. I don't bite. Hey, Lindsay, what's up? A little jumpy, huh? Just didn't see you there. Well, I hope you don't scare too easily. I was just going to invite you up to Keller Hill tonight. What's on Keller Hill tonight? Everyone from work goes. It's a little something we do around Halloween. We go up, we tell scary stories, light a fire. Is that too late for you? Too scary? Ugh, whatever, I was just trying to be nice. I'll go. Oh, excellent, can't wait to see you there. Oh, and don't forget to think of a super scary story. help myself. <laughs> I'm sure you couldn't. Don't worry about her. Now, Lindsay makes this out to be this big scary thing, but it's really not. I'm not scared. Don't tell Lindsay that. You'll ruin all of her fun. What more story is gonna be? Oh my god, don't you. I'm gonna so be very bad. It's not. She's the worst. <laughs> Well, it's almost time. Time for what? Time for you to tell your super scary story, of course. Isn't anyone else going to tell one? We already did. So many times. Yeah, tell us a new one, Morgan. I mean, I didn't really find anything. <laughs> Come on. Well... There's this real thing. It was a little freaky. Go on. When I was four or five, my dad and I were on our way to go apple picking. Something happened with our car, so he pulled over. My dad got out to take a look at it and realized he needed to walk to a garage to get a part. He left me there. I was playing with a toy in the back seat and I started to feel really, really sick, like I, I was gonna throw up, so I immediately went to go open the door. I noticed two things. One, my dad had locked me in the car. Two, that there was this little boy staring at me through the window. I took a closer look at him. He was normal. Something about it made me so sick and uncomfortable. And then he started banging on the window, like so loud, like too loud for a little kid to make that much noise. And then he started crying, let me in, let me in, let me in. And I was saying, I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't let you in. And it went on for what felt like forever. And then all of a sudden he just left. Just like that. And it was quiet. I immediately felt better. It wasn't until then that I noticed what must have been freaking me out about him. Well, what did you notice? His eyes. His irises, corneas, you know the white part? They were all completely black. 